video of a deadly accident obtained exclusively by CBS News is raising safety questions about a popular luxury SUV. The driver's family is suing, claiming the rollaway accident happened because the SUV's dial gear shifter appeared to be in park when it was not. This family is not alone, but the automaker denies their claims and blames operator error. Chris Van Cleve has a story, and we warn you, some of the images you're about to see are very hard to watch. It's shocking video two families hope can save lives. 41-year-old Shadi Farhat was getting out of her 2017 Range Rover SUV when it started rolling, pulling her underneath. The Los Angeles mother of two made it to her feet before collapsing. She died days later. I lost the love of my life. I lost my best friend. Her husband, Michael, is now raising their girls alone. I can't make sense of it. I don't understand why this had to happen to us. It's just so preventable. In his lawsuit against Jaguar Land Rover, Farhat blames what he calls the defective gear selector in their Range Rover, which uses a dial like this one instead of a stick to change gears. Did she complain about it at all? She complained about it a lot. I can't tell if it's in park. I can't tell if it's in reverse. I can't tell if it's in drive. His lawsuit cites this 2013 Land Rover special service message to dealers, warning about concern with the gear shift module becoming stuck in position or has erratic or intermittent operation. It recommended repairs. And these company documents from 2017 indicating the automaker was aware of hundreds of potential unintended rollaway complaints in vehicles with a dial shifter, including 28 in the Range Rover. Gina Warsawiski says it happened to her last month with her four-year-old son in the car. I um, believe I put the car into park, got out the car, and my car started reversing towards me. It knocked me down. Her lawsuit claims the SUV ran over her right hand, requiring reconstructive surgery. It was horrific. It was a nightmare that is forever haunting me, which I'm so grateful to be alive. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration spent nearly four years investigating reports of unintended rollaways involving Jaguar Land Rover vehicles with a dial shifter. In August, NHTSA closed its probe, saying it has not identified any mechanical or electronic faults causing the vehicle to shift out of park and blamed operator error. Isn't it sort of on the driver to put the car into park before you get out of it? Sure, but drivers are confused and um, Land Rover knows that drivers are confused and this is unfortunately the inevitable result of uh, what happens when people think that the car is in park and it's not. Following the 2016 death of Star Trek actor Anton Yelchin in a suspected rollaway incident involving his Jeep Grand Cherokee with a recalled shifter, many car makers added safeguards on new vehicles to prevent such an incident, including automatically shifting to park. Jake Fisher from Consumer Reports. As soon as I open that door, car hasn't rolled at all, it's automatically gone to park. In 2017, Consumer Reports started requiring rollaway protection for cars to earn top marks. If you get in the habit of putting the parking brake on, which a lot of people don't do, that could absolutely prevent the car from rolling. Land Rover added the rollaway protection in 2018 to hybrid Range Rovers only. I want to get it out there that there is a problem with this car. I don't want anyone else to go through this again. NHTSA documents say if a driver opens the door of a Range Rover when it is not in park, an audible alert sounds and a message flashes on the dashboard. The regulator says it is aware of these two incidents and continues to monitor the situation. Jaguar Land Rover declined comment, citing pending litigation, but says it is committed to safety and saddened to hear of these incidents. For CBS This Morning, Chris Van Cleve, Washington. You know, what I take away from that is what that one gentleman said about putting the parking brake on. You yeah. never think about that, but what a simple solution of just getting in the car and doing that. And we've rented cars that have those yeah. types of shifters. And yeah, it's a little confusing when you're trying to figure out whether it's in drive or in neutral. Or In fact, I remember once I was driving and I actually kept stepping on the accelerator and uh, it was in neutral. I'm just glad we brought attention to it. Yeah. I think you have a lot of people out there who remember having those issues or at least now there's going to be more it attention clicks. paid yep. to it as well. Chris Van Cleve, yep. transportation correspondent, CBS News. We appreciate it. Chris, thank you.